Dang it, Jessica, don't unplug the internet. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. I'm here, boom, to do a battle report with Griffin, my hey, son. Da -da 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 so we're doing our, this is game one of our, round one of our Escalation Random Reinforcements League. I've already talked about this tons. Uh, here's my army. This is 750. I'm going to drop five Dire Avengers and make it uh, 707 or whatever, yeah. which is what you have, right? Yes. And then after this round, I thought of adding Shadow Specters, but I'm probably just going to add support weapons for fun because I have this. All right, hey, let's take a look at your army. What do you got? Uh, this, unfortunately, I didn't have enough Gene Stealer models, so this is not WYSIWYG. Um, okay. We are unconcerned about that. Ex exactly. Is this two units of Gene Stealers, then? Is that how so you're running them? I'm running 19 and 5. Okay. 19 and 5. That'll be, yeah. a, that'll be overkill against my Guardians, just so you know. Yeah, well, I'm not worried about that. Um, and? I have a Maliceptor with... I think it's... So this is this is like your head honcho. Yeah. Is he a synapse creature? He is a synapse creature. Nice. Big time synapse. Does he have psychic powers? Yes, he does. So you like that you pick? Yeah. What level of psyker? Is he one or two? He's two. Oh, I didn't know that. He's okay. great. <laughs> and the broodlord's a psyker too? Yeah. And how many powers does he have? One. Okay. And your Tyranid Warriors, how are you running those? One giant group? I'm running them as one giant group, yeah. Okay, and this, this hair thing that you hear is Jessica with the heat gun. She's not, she's not messing around. Oh, yeah. Okay, what else? Um, other than that, uh, the psychic powers that I'm running is Unstoppable Force on the Mal Scepter. Okay. And, no, sorry, Unstoppable Hunger. And okay. Is that that's a psychic power? That's one of the new ones from. Oh, do you know what it does then by heart? Yes, it. Uh, I choose a model within nine inches. It's casting value seven, uh -huh. and if it's successfully cast, uh, a target unit gets plus one to wound on their melee weapons. Okay, that's like really good. That is really good. Wow, you're gonna evaporate. I, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna make it through this game. They keep a distance. I don't know, dude. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Let's play. All so right. we're on a four foot wide by four and a half foot uh, long board. Yeah. I just said that wrong. Okay, we're playing No Mercy. You're going to need a dice, so grab one of your dice. He's using the red dice. I'm using the teal dice. Yeah. All right, No Mercy is the absolute simplest of the Eternal War missions. And so each player selects a battle-forged army, which we did. Create the battlefield and set up terrain, which we did already. I just put up symmetrical terrain. Deployments. Players roll off. Here we go. I got a three. I got you a got two. a two. All right. The whoever rolls highest determines which of the standard deployment maps is used and picks one of the deployment zones on the map for their army. Their appointed, appointed, I just said, opponent uses the other deployment zone. All right. I'm a Dawn of War guy. That means... Uh, let me, in fact, let me just see if I can find the maps really quick to show you guys. Uh oh, I think I'm in. I think I'm in trouble. I think you just went past. I, them. Yeah, I went way past them. Okay, here's the rules. I bet this is look driving at, some look people at, mad. Look at the gloriousness of this rule book. Yeah, it's actually a really good rule book. You did. All right, I I don't I don't think I can do it. Oh, go ahead, Jonah. Jonah can find it. He already knows. Jonah. Where it is. That's exactly where that stuff okay, is. thank you. There you go. All right, so here's your six things. You could roll, but I'm choosing Dawn of War. So 12 inches from the center, since it's four feet, you'll end up with a 12 inch strip on either side. Okay, good. Uh, speaking of measurements, I'm just going to. The players then alternate deploying their units one at a time, starting with the player who did not pick the deployment zone. So that's you. You'll yeah. start playing your thing. So he's going to take all his guys off. That's really the best way to do it, yeah. is uh, to, keep, to keep the table clear. All right, we deployed. And so here's our four by four and a half map. I just got my jet bikes out of the way here. Two units of guardians on one side. And uh, my farseer really right in the middle. and because That's because I want him to be able to get a lot of different things with his psychic powers. Now, the psychic powers I chose were Doom and Guide. Both of them are 24-inch range, and that's really why I picked these. And these are solid psychic powers. They're 
really good. Doom allows me to reroll wounds against the doomed unit, and Guide is a buff on one of my guys that allows them to reroll their to hit rolls. So why did I set up this way? Well, first off, you got to look at lanes of fire. So for you new players, this is something you can't just deploy randomly. And usually, when someone loses very badly, it's because they just didn't see things that their opponent saw. It is generally due to not knowing how to play very well. And by the way, I might fall into that category as well, even after low these many years. But I have to consider what I'm up against. So my shuriken weaponry works great against all these infantry guys, but not so great against this big guy right here. So I, what I really wanted was to be able to bring my one, two, three, four bright lances to bear against the malice scepter. Now, because I made a mistake, I deployed my wave serpent first. I would have been better putting all my grunt guys out and then deploying the wave serpent so that it could hit something bigger. But I put the wave serpent on first and he's actually okay because I have a lane of fire right here and I have a lane of fire right here. So if I move up to 12, I can get my wave serpent here. You gotta think ahead. If I'm here, I can hit everything over that way. But if I jump over here, 12 inches, I can hit all of the stuff in this arc. So really, this is actually not a bad deployment for the Wave Serpent. These have 24 inch range, which, let me just pull out my tape measure really quick here. Yep. So if you look at it, these guys can move 12 inches and also fire ugh, 24 inches. So what's the threat range on my jet bikes? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, it's like almost the entire board. And that makes the jet bikes pretty awesome. So I didn't really need to move them to the front or have any issues. Um, now, Griffin's only ranged guys are the Tyranid Warriors. Yeah. And they move, I would bet, six inches. Yeah. And their guns, if I had to guess, which I shouldn't have to, have a range of 18 inches. 14. No, 24. 24, 24 inches. 24. So their threat range is actually 30 inches. So show us the 30 inch threat range on those guys. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they, they can actually go pretty far. But because of their lower movement, instead of 12 or uh, what is this guy, 22 inches, uh, there's, a, there's kind of a sweet spot right here where things could hide from them. And, but I'm not really concerned about that. The Guardian Defenders, unfortunately, they're... Tw oh, and by the way, this is the handle of the thing. It just keeps popping up there. All right, anyway, because of their 12-inch range, they're really just like a suicide squad. They're just going to... They're just going to run up, blast something one time if they're lucky, and that'll be the, that'll be the end of them. Uh, the game we're playing is No Mercy, and that has... Uh, keep your eye on the prize. That gives you points for, uh, what is it? Killing things every time you kill a unit. So I can only get five points for Griffin's total army. I tried to get him to split up these gene stealers in units of five, but he didn't go for it. And But there would have been a good reason for him to do that. And that is, against Eldar, I'm easily the more maneuverable of the army. He has no scouts. Yeah. Definitely more and more maneuverable. Yeah. I, 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 get a, so, I get a charge and advance. All right. Anyway, um, it's really so if he had split them up into smaller units of five and spread them out, he, he would have been able to basically create sort of this threat zone everywhere because five gene stealers can eat any of this stuff with the exception of the wave serpent. So it's a tough call. We're, we're going to see if Griffin has a hard time blobbing out with this unit of 19 gene stealers. Yeah. Um, generally, Eldar just want to sort of maneuver and dance out of the way, and there's really only one direction for me to do that, which is this way. So I'm going to be redeploying my units across. All right. Uh, do you have anything to say, Griffin? No. No, not really. That's really? Polite. I can just talk the whole time? Yeah. That's how I like it. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check for steal the initiative. Griffin yeah. finished deploying first. Yeah. So he gets to take the first turn unless I roll a six. Cocked. Uh, we have a house rule that a dice cocked to any degree, unless it's flat on the table, it doesn't count. 
and that creates a lot of rerolls too. Okay, your turn. All right. We'll get back to you after Tyranid, top of round one, movement phase. Hold on, can you hold on just a second? I just want to look at this base that Jessica's making. Yeah. Check that out. Uh, here, put, put the model on it. So this is, this is for this, uh, whatever it is guy. You know, Care guy. Overlords. Thank you. Geez, someone knows what I'm talking There you go. Pretty cool, huh? It's like stalking their way through these ruins. That's great, thanks. Okay, so. I finished with movement and advancing. All right, advancing. so these guys advanced, or ran, as it would be called. The brood lord managed to get in here. That is a huge threat range for me, and actually makes him a big target. I was going to focus down on this guy, but I don't know. I may have to focus down here first. That's pretty scary. Uh, this is a whole lot of scariness, like, running towards me, and I I, I, I don't know. It feels like maybe I can't uh, do it. What's... Okay. Psychic phase. I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, do you have any psychers? I do. I have the Farseer. He can do two different things every psychic phase. So I'll grab my two dice for Deny the Witch. Deny. Denied. Xenoscum. Oh, right. no, wait. That sounds more like an Imperium. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay go. There is Xenoscum. So what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to cast Smite with the Malceptor targeting... These guardians. The, really? Okay, sounds good. Have a good well, time. Well, it's the only thing that's in range. Okay, go ahead. 18 inches, right? Yeah. What are you looking for? Narrate. Uh, I was looking for a 5. Okay, great. And, and I you got can it, potentially do two more powers. And I got it with a 10. Okay, how many wounds? Go ahead. Uh, D3. Why do you get plus 1? Uh, it's part of his Psyker rules. Oh, okay. He just gets plus 1. He Perfect. just gets plus 1. He's, he's that big brain. Okay, uh, roll the damage. D3. Oh, yeah, those are garbage. Three. Oh, jeez. All right. Um, I'm going to take off the bat guys. I need yeah. all the range I can get. Why? Because you rolled a 10 Oh! Okay, I guess it was five. Five? Because I got a 10 Oh, higher. that's so many. Jeez. That just wasted those guys. Ah! All right. Well, I would have needed an 11 to get rid of it. So. All right. Unstoppable hunger on... The Tyranid Warriors, I need okay. a 7 or Plus higher. Plus 1 to their wound rolls, right? Yeah. That is a, a nine. 9. I'll attempt to deny it and succeed, succeed with, with a 10. 10. Nice. Yes. That was my first attempt from my... Does he get two attempts? Is he, is he awesome? Well, he can re-roll them, actually. Yep. Gross. But, but he only okay. gets... So he only gets one deny the witch, right? No, I can do it twice. <laughs> All right, so my Farseer can manifest two psychic powers and attempt to deny. And he also has runes of the Farseer. Each, once in each psychic phase, you can reroll any number of dice used for this model's attempt to manifest or deny a psychic power. So... I rest my case. Okay, go ahead. Okay. What's your last thing? The Broodlord, obviously. Broodlord is going to cast Catalyst on himself. Okay, and that gives him a bonus to his... Well, uh, it gives him a five-up feel no pain. Okay, got it. That's And I have to get rid of this. And I'll have a re-roll. It's a six-up. And I make and it with got an eight. an eight. So I have two chances to get a nine or higher, because you got to beat it to deny it. I don't with a four. And I oh. do with a nine. Great. I really shut down Griffin's psychic phase. That was very good for me. Yeah. But I'm not out of the woods yet, because that is a lot of Tyranid meat coming down the line. So now on uh, to shooting. Yeah, shooting phase. Hold on a second. I'm like, I think I... Okay, go. All right, Tyranid so... Warriors, 24-inch range. There's stuff in range. Uh, let's see here. 24 inches. Yeah, you just need to focus down those Guardians. Well, actually, you've, you've done a lot of casualties. So, oh, just out of range on the Farseer? Yeah, just out of range. Oh, range. brutal. But he wouldn't have been the closest target. He's a character. Uh, yeah, he is a character. So, uh, for you new players in 40k, you can only shoot at a character if they are the closest thing. And, and it doesn't even matter if it's visible or not. It's like if I wanted to shoot at this guy... No, wait a minute, that's not quite how it works. Okay, so let's say I'm here, right? My, far, my guardian is right here, right? And he can see the... Broodlord, yeah. but let's say the Gene Stealers are closer. Even though he can't see them, he still can't shoot at him. Mm. Doesn't matter if you can see him or not. Neat. Well, pro tip. So that's. It's lame, but it prevents people from getting around the rule by 
making sure they can't see anything else. You see what I'm saying? It's just like, what? My, my gun won't work. My, my uh, gun work. Or, or I, I imagine they hear or, you know, they're like waiting for these guys to come around. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> that, that was the uh, that was that was that was the, the paint. All right. Only high class humor. Yes, it's, it's highbrow around here, guys. Come on, roll those nids. All right. So my interviewees got lost. Fifteen because shots I gave them the wrong number. Needing uh, four ups. Okay, this is the death spitters. Yeah. Okay, why do they need fours? Because they advanced. Oh. They went from yeah, here yeah. to there. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So this is the Tyranid Warriors shooting with their death spitters. Needing four ups. Should be an average of guardians. Ooh, that's not great. Ooh, that's really not great. I don't think these guardians are gonna survive. But if even one survives, that is a bright lance coming at you, buddy. Oh, that was so many hits. No, this this was, was the, the hits. hits. Oh yeah, good for me. Da, 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 da. Well, I only need one guy to survive. That's it. All right. That's uh, all I want. Needing one survivor. What's their toughness? toughness? Three. Okay. Needing threes to no twos to win because Maybe. of unstoppable hunger. Maybe. All right. That's three winning hits. AP is one. Wow. So I need sixes to make it. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Two guys die. Uh. Hey, two guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, heavy venom cannon. Okay, D here we go. D3 shots. Yep. I'm on three. Yeah, three. Yep. Okay. Four, four ups. All right. Two. Two. That's not great. Two hits. Because there's and no wound carryover. Uh, there's going to be a single one. Twos to wound, no doubt. Needing, yeah, needing twos to wound. Only one. Yes, Oof. what's the minus? Two. Oh, then one guy dies. Ugh. Yeah. That's bad. Okay, all done with shooting? Yeah, and... Okay. On to charging. Okay. I have no Hold on. Oh, yeah. valid targets. Nothing within 12? Okay, what about these guys? Are they within 12 of the no. wave servant? They are. Well, they must not certainly within are. His base. No, no, you measure to the hole. Oh. For, uh, they have a special rule for that. Yep, so you could do it within 11. I do get rerolls, so let's try it. Okay, it could happen. For Behemoth, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch. All right, here we go. Um, Shuriken Cannon. Looking for sixes, nothing. Bright lances, nothing. Go. Come on, baby, an 11. Hey! Oh, no way! Yes! Oh, first turn charge. Oh, this is so bad for me. This is so good. Oh, my God. oh this is bad. So okay, this is bad. So the Gene Steelers made a 12 inch charge, 11 inch charge to here. They've piled in. Griffin's got his dice. Dice. Uh, hold on just a second. All right, the wave serpent shield doesn't help against melee attacks. Okay, so how many total attacks are coming? It is 64, so I'm going to do volleys of 32. Okay, so here it goes. Roll to hit. Yeah. Okay, so needing three ups. Okay, sounds good. Ooh, that's good. Oh, Jonah's listening to the game groups. Oh, uh, no. I hate those guys. No, they're great. Okay, here we go. All right, so... Not a fan of game groups. What's its toughness? Seven. Okay, so needing yeah, five to wound. Four strength. Right, so you don't... You don't... It's not double. The toughness isn't double your strength. Yeah. So you don't need sixes. I need But five. it is above your strength. Okay, go ahead. So I need five ups. Sixes are... AP three. Okay, nice. So how many are AP three? Go ahead and pull those sixes out. And two. you need fives to wound, right? Yeah. So All right. So I need sixes to save these two. Here it comes. And I make neither, so I've so taken two, two wounds. And then I'll just four. mark that here. And then how many are fives? Uh, th four. Four of them. So I need. Form. So you won't kill this wave serpent. That's nice for well, me. Well, hold up. I have the second volley. Oh, yeah. the se Yeah, you probably will kill this wave serpent. Okay, so I need threes. It's AP nothing, right? Uh, it's AP one. Oh, AP one. 
All right, well, so two, uh, two more wins. that will be two more wins. Okay, Yeehaw. sounds good. So I've taken four. All right, so far. I wonder, I wonder how many it has. Go. Okay, here we go. All Second right. volley. The Wave Servant has toughness seven, 13 wounds. Ooh, you might not actually make this. Ooh, yeah, 13 wounds is tough. Well, and that'll be good because they'll be locked in combat with the Wave Serpent. I, I won't be able to shoot at them, but I will be able to basically move out of the way. Yeah. Also, just the fact that I made 11 more inches of movement is great. Yeah, or I can just disengage from it and go away. Almost like consolidating some have... more of your garbage. <laughs> That is a problem, actually. All right. Uh, threes. No, uh, fives to win. Sixes are good. Ooh, that's a lot more sixes. Four of them. Four. That was a. And then that's we not great. have five fives. Okay, here we so go. So if you save literally none of them. So here's versus the sixes. I need a six. Oh, I saved two. That's actually really good. I gotta get rid of that strap. I can just make that go away forever. Okay, and then now five. So I, what did I take two wounds from that? Uh, so looking for threes. Yeah. Oh, geez, and three more. Actually, it's four. Would have been four. Four wounds? Because it's because it's minus one AP. Oh, okay, my bad. So total of ten wounds. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. So yeah. the Wave Servant only has three left. Yes. That's not great. All right, well, the Wave Servant gets to attack back, because vehicles actually have attacks now. <laughs> I have uh, three wounds left, so I only get one attack. Oh, and I hit on a six. Okay, so the Wave Servant doesn't do anything back. Okay, and... Um, all right, at the end of combat... His gene stealers can consolidate up to three inches, but they have to be closer to the nearest enemy model. So let's see. One. Yeah. So that's interesting. If you when you charged, could you have gone like left a guy over here to be closer to the farseer? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to look into that. And by the way, those of you watching this, feel free to lend your expertise. Or we'll just let Griffin do this. There's really nothing exciting to happen. But the yeah. Wave Serpent did get carked. He's down to three wounds out of 13. That's really bad. But I'm just going to move. So it's my movement phase. And it, it is fly, yeah. Yeah. And, I, so, and the, oh, the only reason I can do that is the Wave Serpent does fly. So I'm going to go ahead, since it can't shoot anyway. Um, oh, but I want to disembark the Dire Avengers. Oh, which I can do before it moves. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and advance. Oh, a whole two inches, so I'll move 18 inches. But I am going to disembark the Dire Avengers first. The Dire Avengers are going to... I have to be farther away than one inch from an enemy model and within three inches of the hull. So where do I want to be? I'll just be over here. All right, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it really matters. The Dire Avengers are just toast right now. They're just fodder. More meat for the meat grinder. Yeah, geez, I got worked. Well, at least the thing didn't explode. And, uh, okay, we'll get back to you after Eldar shooting phase. Okay, I solved the strap issue. One thing I forgot was to take a test for the Avengers. They lost eight guys, <laughs> and so I roll a d6 and I add it to eight. Okay, that's an 11, so I subtract their leadership, which is seven. So as I lose four guys, so and I have two out. left, so they are gone from shooting. Hey, uh, and Victor and uh, Griffin gets a victory point for first blood. Good job, one victory point so far. And, um, yeah, Slay the Warlord and Line Breaker remain. There you go. All right, so I, ba I repositioned my whole army as far as they could here. I brought the, the uh, Guardians up. Really, it didn't help me because they just don't, they don't have 12 inches. I have, to, I have to disintegrate this blob. That's basically good. it. i got to kill 19 luck. Gene Stealers with what I got here. 
And it, it is, quite frankly, highly unlikely that I'll do it, especially because the Guardians are out of the mix. So I'm going to go ahead and start my shooting phase by shooting um, nine shots from my Shuriken cannons on my jet bikes. And, oh, and why don't I do my Psychic phase instead? So the Farseer is going to put Doom on them. He needs a seven. And he gets it. 24. 24 inches. He's right there. Yep, you got it from both your psychers, I think. Measure from your Maliceptor. That might actually help. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead. All right, I'm going to do the Maliceptor because he gets plus one. So, need Looking for a seven. Seven. Hey, big it. it. Okay, Psychic Sword of Doom. I'm going to do Guide on the... Oh, uh, that's interesting. On the Dire Avengers. No, I'm going to do Guide on this unit of bikes. Looking for a seven, and I fail. But I can re-roll from Runes of Fate. Oh, also and get, you get a ten. Hold up, you get minus one because of Shadow and the Warp. I forgot oh, about that. Okay, well there you go. So that's so, a nine. I, guess. I just I just need a ten, so don't make it. All right, awesome. So the Dire Avengers do have guide, and I have this little. Does that give them symbol. plus one to hit? Or no, it's re-rolls to hit. Oh. So let's go ahead and shoot these jet bikes. Now I want to talk about a, a basic tactic for new players which is shoot the things with the least options first. So let's say I shot the Dire Avengers first, and Griffin took off casualties off of the front of his unit, and now that makes them out of range of these guys that are farther away. So these guys have less options, meaning they need to shoot first because they're barely in range. So it's nine shots with shuriken cannons, because they're assault three each times three, and I need three ups because that's our ballistic skill and their ballistic skill is not modified. Strength 6 versus toughness 4 means I need 3 ups and so you need to take one save at minus 4 and well, the others at minus nothing. Uh, I have a 5 up in bowl, so let's just do that. Doesn't make it. And then, then two, two more. more. Also five at 5? Five. 5 up. You just got the 5 up in bowl. So, threes. 3 guys. Okay, so 3 down, 16 to go. Actually, Ah, uh, man, this is a mess. I'm going to go ahead, we'll just keep doing it because it'll be net casualties. This Bright Lance hits on a 3-up, but it's a heavy weapon and it moves, so it's at minus 1. So four. I need a 4. That's a hit. Strength 8 means I need a 2-up to wound, so I've got 1 wound, minus 4 to the save. Doesn't matter. Five he up. has what's called an invulnerable save, so he doesn't, so that's 4 guys dead. I'm well, just going to keep a little more. Does, does it carry over? 3. Do they over? each have two wounds? Does it carry over? I don't know what you mean by carry over. Are you joking? Oh, because it does D6 wounds. No, it doesn't. In 40k, it just does D6 wounds to the guy. So one guy takes two, two wounds, wounds. But two guys don't die. So you've taken yeah. off four guys so far, right? Yeah. All right, fantastic. Uh, the Farseer has a shuriken pistol. And, but I am certain that he is out of 12-inch range, which he oh, is. I probably should have right. shot him first. All right, we're good. Let's do the bikes. Nine shots. Here it goes. Three, three, yep. So they have uh, ballistic skill three up. That's perfectly average. Threes to wound, because I beat their toughness, but don't double it. And that is uh, one, but yeah, they're just all five ups. Go ahead. Five saves, please. Five ups. None. Oh my gosh. Okay, Dire Avengers. They each get two shots from their Avengers shirts and catapults. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, here it comes. Uh, looking for threes. And looking for fours to wound. Hey, that's good for me. Three. Come on, I haven't saved a single one. Hey, save one. <laughs> All right. So how many guys did I kill? Like 10? Uh, 11, you have 12. killed 11. Okay, well, that's still not good for... That was my entire shooting. And so um, oh, there you it? go. Yep, it's now your turn. Oh, whoa. I finished my turn in like six minutes. Yeah. Okay, so the Tyranids moved up. In some cases, quite far. The Malice Scepter got a 6 on his advance roll. And the and... Brood Lord got a 5. Yeah. Because he's able to advance it. So they're up there. So now it's Psychic phase. Now I have one level 2 Psyker. 
in the latest edition, they don't say level one, level two, but things typically have one or two powers. Yeah. And can also deny, which is the defense version, once or twice as well. A Farseer is of the latter type, so he can do two. Oh, and I have a... Did you take a like a Warlord ability and a other thing? Yeah, I did. Like an artifact? Um, I took the... I took the special Behemoth one where on a wound roll of six on uh, one of my Warlord's weapons, which I choose Rending Claws, uh, it does one extra damage. Okay, So it great. goes from three damage to four damage. All right, fantastic. Okay, I took Seer of the Shifting Vector, which allows me a re-roll on several possible things. And I also took a Ghost Helm, which gives me plus one to smite, which I'm not typically using anyway. So I don't know why I'm taking that. Okay, your turn. Uh, I your am turn. also taking the Yarm Factor, uh, which at the beginning of the fight phase, I roll a d3 for this model and apply the following effect of, for the duration. On one, I get strength one, plus one strength, uh, two, plus one attack, and three, plus one toughness. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're to Psychic phase. Yes. Tyranid's turn two, top of the second round. All right. Who's doing what? Malceptor is going to start off with Unstoppable Hunger. Okay, so we need a 7. Doesn't make it. And he's going to cast Smite on your Warlord. Okay, I'm ready. So 5 up. Make it with a 6. Alright, I'm going to attempt to deny that. I need a 7. And, and I make, make it with it. a 9. All right. Nice. I'm countering this Psychic phase. Alright, well Catalyst so on the Gene Stealers. Got it. Which gives them a 5 up. Feel, feel no, no pain. pain. And for those of you up. new to the game, feel and, no okay. pain. I make it up. I make it with a. Okay, eight. I'm going to attempt to deny that. So I need a nine. Yeah. Doesn't I don't make it. make it, but I get a reroll yeah. once per for my runes. I don't. Also, it doesn't make, make it. it. Okay, sounds good. Okay, well that's. So they have catalyst. I'll put a little marker next to them. Got a little glowy marker. Wow, 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 wow. Catalyst. Okay. All right, and then. That's it for Psychics. Uh, I'm on to Shooting Phase. Um, the only shooting that I have is Tyrant Warriors. So I'm going to shoot with Despiters first. And I'm going to target this group of Warriors, or whatever they're called. The Guardians? The Guardians, yes. They're getting shot, okay. And by the way, I've been forgetting my Craft World ability, which gives me a 6-up. Feel no Feel pain. No pain. Hmm. Feel no pain means you get a chance to save a wound even after everything's done. Oh, somebody's here. Is it your mom, I wonder? Tammy? It was Willow. Okay. Let's continue. All right. 15 shots needing three ups. Yeah. Yeah, three ups. Not re-rolling anything. All right, well, that's a lot better, actually, than last turns. Three shots each. Yeah. Nice. Strength five. So Toughness three. So you're oops, looking for so threes. threes. Oh, they only have strength three. I thought they had strength six. Last time you, we were oh, rolling death, two ups. Death spitters. Death Spitters oh. have five. Oh, it's uh, the reason why it was two ups was because of unstoppable hunger. Oh, okay. Which they have a plus one on them. Okay. Ooh, so needing three ups. So that okay. minus What's the one AP? AP minus okay, one AP. thank you. So I need sixes, and it looks like I need to make six of those saves. Here we go. Sixes. Yay! One of them saves. Five die, but. Feel I have pain. Craft World. It's called Foresight of the Damned. Every time they lose a wound on a six, they don't lose the wound. So here it comes. They say no. And there's another one. So four of them die. Okay, and I'm going to take the guys in the front because I don't want any trouble. I don't want no trouble. Trying to just make myself a little bit further away. Okay. okay, your turn. 
All right, uh, I'm the going to... The Death Spitter? Or the uh, uh, Venom Cannon? Yeah, the Heavy Venom Cannon. D3 from, shots? D3 shots targeting the Guardians. Right. Or actually... Well, you if you wanted a different target, you would have had to have declared that before yeah. they started shooting. Mm, yeah. Otherwise, the default is you yeah, keep shooting yeah. at the same so time. So D3 hitting on... D3 shots, one shot. Three up. Three up. Doesn't do anything. Okay. Cool for me. Poo -poo. Poo -poo pilot. Um, that's it for this shooting like, phase. Like Ulfway's last stand. All right. Now uh, I can't get that hamster song out of my head. I did it to myself. You should yeah, know. you did. Yeah. All right, charging phase. Um, Gene Steelers. Uh, does he have any ranged? He does. He has a shuriken pistol. Okay. Well, that's it though. Gene Steelers you are really going to him. target him and them. Okay, and so only the Dire Avengers and the yeah. Scar Seer. Screw those bike guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, the Dire Avengers, who, by the way, are still guided. So I've forgotten a lot of things in this game. Uh, they get ten shots with re-rolls to hit. So looking for sixes. Oh! Oh! Oh, Zazow! -za! Nice. nice. That is what you want to see on your Overwatch. I'm going to take a picture of that. <laughs> Still shot. Thank you very much. And <clears throat> re-rolls. So we'll re-roll these. That is so many. All sixes. That could have no. just been... Yeah, if I re-rolled all sixes. Okay, <laughs> looking for fours to wound. And that is five wounding hits. That is incredible. Oof. All right. That is going to hurt. Five up and vulnerable. Remember, they have Catalyst. So that's two. And Catalyst... Okay. How many wounds do they do? Just one? They just do one. Okay. So, five ups. Eh. I save one more, so two more die. Okay, so I killed two guys. Now the Farseer, looking for sixes. Nothing. Okay. All right, cool. Swift off my dice. Wow, the you took out a whole two gene sealers. <laughs> That's a big deal. That is a really big deal. That's a whole six attacks. Six rolling oh, charges. Oh, no! What? Dire Avengers have defense tactics. They hit on Overwatch on a 5 or a 6 with the rerolls. So oh. that was a mistake on my part. I've made a number of errors in this game. Okay. Quite a few, actually. Needing I'm literally anything. 6. All right, cool. I'll take that. Thank you. So. All right. So, a charge, for those of you that are new, there's a specific way you do this. You choose a unit to charge with, the Gene Stealers. Choose targets. He chose the Air Avengers and the Farseer. They all shot Overwatch. Now make charge move. Roll a D, 2D6. That's the first thing you do. Each model in the charging unit can move up to this number of inches. This is their charge distance this turn. The first model you move must finish within one inch of an enemy model from one of the target units. No models in the charging unit can move within one inch of an enemy unit that was not the target of its charge. So, yep, he's got that. If this is impossible, the charge fails and no models in the charging unit move this phase. Once you've moved all the models in the charging unit, choose another eligible unit and repeat the above procedure till all eligible units have done so. Pretty cool. Cool, 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 dude. All right, um, Broodlord is going to charge. How many? How many are left in this unit? Six. Yep, that's right. Six. Six. Hmm. Right here, the Guardian Defenders. Hmm. So four of them have died. I'll just set those aside. Okay. Uh, just for like practice measure, I need to see if I can get within. The... No. no. Oh yeah, you can't reach him without getting within one inch of those guys. We should just charge them too. How bad could it be? How bad could it be, Dad? Clearly bad. bad. Well, let's do the math. All right, fine. Yeah. They'll each shoot. There'll be twelve shots. Oh uh, yeah. Have to get two hits. Oh yeah. And then the they guardians. They probably won't wound because those guys are fives. a lot worse than. Them. Yeah, they're not great. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fine. I'll charge. I'll charge both units. Okay. So he's declaring a charge versus these two. He can't shoot because he's in close combat now. Yes. So here's our. Here's my twelve shots. I'll have to re-roll a couple of them because there are only 10 dice here. Two hits, just like I said. Probabilities yeah. are very narrow once you get up to 10 dice. One wounding hit. Make a save. Right, five up. Oh, it's minus four. 
five up. So I put a wound on him. Nice. Wow! A whole wound. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so Matt, now make your charge roll. Uh, Rerolling fails because they because he is behemoth. Behemoth, great. That's a nine. All right, that's plenty. Rar. Rar, <laughs> Now, just a quick tip, don't actually be in base contact. Yeah. Because that will, and he's got to pick which one he wants to be nearer to, because that's where he can move. I would actually be near the Guardians, because you can still attack him, because he's within one inch. Oh, yeah. But this will give you him. some maneuverability range on your pile in to possibly consolidate into something else. Yeah. Like, for example, if this jet bike were up here, foolishly, then if he killed these guys, he could consolidate. And move All right, I have I think, no legible charges yep. left. Okay, so now we're so five phase. Five phase, um, yarn you factor pick? activates. Okay, D three on the D three. Your warlord, which is the brood. That lord. is plus one strength. Okay, sounds good. Which might actually help me a lot. Yeah, that helps me a lot. Oh, that far seems painted really nice. Ooh yeah. Oh yeah, that's great. I'm really excited for this army. I'm really, I think, we're, well, we'll have 2,000 point armies by the time we're done. Oh, lovely. Uh, let's see nice. here. So, Broodlord, six attacks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose the Broodlord. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Let's just get rid of that Farseer before it's too late. Right. So... Toughness is three. He is a gene stealer, which makes it so I can add one to hit rolls. Okay. Oh, uh, which doesn't help me because he has a two up. Huh. Eh, Continue. So needing two ups, six attacks, all on the far seer. Okay. Two ups. It's one miss. Perfectly average. Uh. Toughness three. Probably, what's your strength? My strength is six with young factors. Need twos. So need twos. All hits. How many, how many wounds does each one do? Three. Three? Yeah, he's probably dead. I need four ups. Uh, AP is three. Uh, he has an invuln save. Oh. But only one gets through. Bunch of sixes and one gets through. Wow. So that's not great. Uh, let's get some of our wound dice. Excuse me, Jonah. All right. Oh, three damage. damage. All right, Jessica's over here making these really cool bases, painting them up. These are for the Kara drones. Look at that. Oh, that's going to look so good when they're done. Ah! Are you jealous? Amazing. Yes, I am. I wish I had this level of skill. That would be awesome. Okay, let's have it. All right, so... The gene stealers are... So are you splitting attacks? Some of them are going on the Farseer, three, right? Three on the Farseer. Three on the okay. Guardians. Are these the three on the Farseer? These are the three on the Farseer. Okay, here we go. Needing two ups because the Broodlord is there. Two ups and three ups. Wow, that made a difference. That's extra hits. That's a whole two extra hits. How many wounds might... does the Farseer have, I wonder? If it's... I got it. <laughs> yes, five. Just five. Oh. oh, he's sad. All right. Twos? So... No, threes. Threes. Yeah. Strength four. Toughness three. Exceeds, but does not double. How many saves? Do That's... Oh, man, no five sixes. Five saves? Oh, yeah, that's five. Okay. Well, he has an invuln save. One. Four ups. Eight, he fails yeah. three, and he's dead. Ah! Uh, retrieve my soul stone, brothers. Actually, he probably speaks oh, differently. Whoops, uh, retrieve my soul stone, brothers. So, Dad. The, the <sighs> AP... Let my spirit free in the infinity circuit. Uh, uh, we've got our own problems, Sarge. Don't say that. All right. Oh, uh, that's this guy turns talking. out that the damage. We got our own problems, Sarge. It's D three with the Broodlord, unless it's a six. That was my mistake. Oh, okay. Uh, but it wouldn't have mattered because I got four wounds with the normal gene sealers. Okay. I'm, I'm just putting it out there. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Nice to know. <laughs> You know, I'm starting to kind of be sold on Dire Avengers. I think they actually made them good enough to just get in there. Because with cause the Overwatch thing, 
Plus, they get a five up invuln in close combat. All right, shimmer shield. nine attacks nice. with the other gene sealers. Yeah, yeehaw, that's all hits. Thanks, Brood Lord. Okay, I'm ready. Ugh. All right, and then th three ups. Okay. Unfortunately, I do not have Shimmer Shield on this Yay, guy. Hey, that's I great. I should. Okay, so that's two EP3s. Oh, okay. Well, they have a four-up save, so two guys just die. Uh, uh. Am I going to kill all these cards? Maybe. <laughs> and then I need to make five saves yeah. at AP1. At AP1. So I need fives. So three, three more guys die, die, and that's the whole yes. unit. So I've gotten one, two, three... So you're one, two, three, four. So I have four points. Three, four points, and you have you five points because you with slay first the blood, oh, and yeah, you gotta slay the warlord. I'm getting worked, man. Okay. Um, now all your guys have fought, so I'm gonna go ahead and consolidate in my guardians here. Rar. Hey, settle down. What are we doing? Oh. Okay, cool. That's it's good to know. Consolidate at the end of your attack or the phase? It's the end of the attack sequence. So he could have consolidated before I just did that. Okay, well. <laughs> but okay. I didn't. Uh -huh. The jaggy guys on the Broodlord. Let's just like, Six of them. Move them. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They need, I yeah. think, Guardian Defenders. They're not supposed to be good, but I think they might be at three ups now. Almost there. Yeah, they get three up weapon skill. That's amazing. They have made them better. Okay, three ups. And then three ups to wound. Broodlord, take... Uh, not three ups to wound, five ups to wound. Oh, My okay. mistake. Yeah. <laughs> I take two saves. Oh, jeez. Because if it was I three ups, moved. that would be the assumption that they have a strength of... Seven. Seven. Yep. No, six. They yes. have guardian hair ties that they flick at you. That are monofilament hair ties. Monofilament hair ties. Okay. okay, go ahead. I guess this can so, go away. Uh, no AP. Yeah, no AP, of course. Four up saves. That's one Nice. Save. I did a wound on I did a wound on him before they died. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, Suck ha, it. Ah, 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 ah. All right, well, do your <clears throat> This is bad shot. for Sean. Okay, so I lost uh, two, four, I lost four <sighs> guys. So I take four guys. I add a D6. Lower is better. Okay, I got ten. And then I subtract their leadership, which is seven. So that's three guys that die. And I'm going to take these three right Oh, here. plus the four that died. Yeah, so there's three guys left alive. Which uh, I'm actually happy bad with. for me. Because that means that they... Not to disengage. <laughs> All right, bottom of the second, Eldar turn two, and this is going to be like a three-turn game. I backed my jet bikes up against the wall. I've got line of sight on the gene stealers, and it's time to open fire. Should be fun. Maybe I can score a point or two here. Three, three, three. All right, this unit here is shooting at this unit of gene stealers. All right, hit me. And I need three ups. And I need three ups to wound. Slightly above average with seven wounds. And definitely below average. So make three saves. All right. Now I'm not using the rending ability of the what's All right. So three saves. Yep. Five ups. Save one. Uh, what's the Two damage? Two guys, one damage. Okay, uh, catalyst. Five ups. All right, two, two, two guys die. <laughs> All right. And then, so there's four left. And away we go. Here's the next round. Threes and threes. Perfectly average. Three ups to wound. Oh, that's not good. Make three more saves. Looking for fives and fives. Fives. Next one. Fives. Two more die. Two more die. All right, well, I probably won't get those guys this turn. Um, can you measure 24 inches from the... Wave Serpent, see if it hits them. Because I might get that might shuriken cannon. That's this front weapon here. Knock off. And then he's lance. got the bright lances up top. Ooh. No. 
Nope. Well out of range. All right, I'll shoot the shuriken cannon here, the, and then I'll shoot the bright lances at him. All right. Let's do the bright lances first. It's two shots, looking for threes because I didn't move. That's two hits. It's 36 inch range. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, so, and then strength eight versus toughness seven. I need threes to wound. One wounding hit right there. Right. It's minus four. Well, that doesn't matter because he has. Does he uh, have an involuntary? He has four some sort of psychic shield. Okay, yeah. great. Just needs the four up. Otherwise, four up. take d6 wounds. Makes and it. he makes it with a four. That's not great. The shuriken cannon here versus those guys. And that's two hits, strength six, and that's two wounding hits. One, uh, yeah, doesn't matter. Uh, five ups to save, two saves. Five please. ups. What's the damage on these? One. 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 Okay. Five ups. Makes one. Okay. One guy dies. Five oh, up and one. No, oh no! Wait, no. They don't no. have catalysts. They don't, they don't have catalysts. Otherwise, I'm that gonna would wait. be nice. All right. Cool. Um, that was my shooting phase. Time for melee. And as you can <laughs> see, a a um. It goes really fast when you're down to 300 points worth of guys. I'm going to consolidate my guys in, and not consolidate, pile in, and I'm going to go ahead and make some attacks. I don't think the platform gets an attack. Platform does get an attack, but it only hits on a six. Platform, swinging around, nothing. And the Guardian Defenders, looking for threes. That's all three hits, looking for fives to wound. And they get two wounding hits wow. on the Broodlord, very nice. Let's see it. Let's see it. All right. So, is it AP or no AP? No AP. Okay. Four ups. Ooh. Wow. He takes two. That's amazing. Go, Guardian Defenders. Now your turn. Oh, boy. I actually use Bird Lord. <laughs> okay. How many attacks? Yarn Factor trigger. Let's hear some chatter on the field. Ducks on a pond. Ducks on a pond. Yarn Factor. That's plus one attack. Okay. So. Another one of these. So two ups. Ooh, not great. Um, and then uh, threes to win this time. And that's one at minus six HP. Uh, okay, so one six. guy dies. And what next? And then two more wounding hits. What's uh, the AP? At AP three. Okay, so two more guys die. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. All right, what's up? Um, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So let's take my battle shock test, or whatever they're called. Uh, I lost three guys, so I'll add three, and that guy runs. Ugh. Nice. And now it's top of the third, Tyranid turn three. <laughs> yeah, we never do this. We never do foam inside. She's trying to pick up these tiny little foam bits. This is entertaining. I'm going to videotape you doing this. Go ahead. Do you Pick up the phone bets. Yep. <laughs> there it goes. There goes I Jonah. He's going to do it. Your mat if you don't. <laughs> that's, that's the secret. That's the secret. Griffin's doing his movement phase. Yeah, okay. Hold up. That's pretty good. So I noticed Jessica like looking at the fire, and then she would look at like the paper plate, and then she would look at the fire, and then she would look at the can of primer. So I know she wants to burn things in that fire. No, no, Jessica, bad Jessica. No burning things. Oh no, 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 what the no? Okay, I thought you All were right. like taking it for something. This else. is ah uh, ha ha! You took it. Yes, that's right. Hold on, let's put him back where he was on the board. There we go. There we go. <laughs> He's over there. I actually think I yeah. All right, yeah. I'm, oh gosh, I'm so toast. This is bad. This is a mop up operation. Correct. Actually, hold Griffin. On. Griffin will be done. He'll have tabled me by three. And for these small games, that can definitely happen. I am loving. I'm absolutely loving these smaller games. They go by so fast. Yes. You don't need so much preparation. You you know can do it. It was on. Yeah, it does have vinegar in it. Yeah. Okay, so I have to keep it from. Oh no, not our lizard. Yeah, white vinegar. <laughs> We have, we, have, we have a lizard named Vinegar, if, if yeah. you're new. <laughs> yeah, for those of you just joining the program. Yeah. Okay, let's have it. Okay, so that's the end of my movement phase. Hurrah, I know, right? Um, on to psychics. Psychics. Okay, I'm ready. All right. So. Whew, all right. Malceptor is going uh -huh. to cast Smite okay. upon ye. The Wave Serpent is what Wave it's Serpent, yes. 
my janky old, I pulled this out of like a collection that was just sitting there. And this is, yeah, he's missing parts. Okay, anyway. All right. But I, I love him. I love him yeah. the way he is. Reroll. All right, right that's a six. That's a six. Did you make it? Yeah, I made it. Okay, roll one. D3. Two. Two. Oh, I have one wound left. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. <laughs> But you fool, I have a second psychic power. You can't smite again. Oh, what? You can only smite once. <clears throat> Doesn't Malice Scepter have a power where you can send out like a wave of energy or something? Oh, but it's only like six ones? inches. Oh, okay. That's pretty bad. Well, it's like if he gets a melee, he can just burst. Because it's like six different units. I'll take D3 to D6 damage. Okay, I'm That's ready. Really good. Let's do it. All right. Um, Come on, Griffin. Let's just get this over with. Smiting what? Smiting these guys. Those guys. Okay, there's two units of three here. Hey, hey D6. Wounds? D6 wounds. Oh, yeah, for rolling a 10 or higher. Six. Six wounds. Okay, they are dead. They only have two Whoop. wounds each. So just take those three guys off. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Okay, Just like, now, yeah. uh, shooting phase, or does he have something else? Um, I, hold up. He's barely within range. That's great. I'm going to do Unstoppable Hunger, targeting these gene stealers, because maybe they might do something. <laughs> Make it with an eight. Okay, So Sounds they get good. plus one a wound. All right, awesome. What's, did they, did they charge? Yeah, they do. They, I, I well, he can go up, and he yes. can go it, over, and then up. This is up. six inches. Okay. I pre-measured That's it. not six inches. Is That's it? like eight inches. Oh, yeah. Eight yeah. inches, four inches. You need to get a 12. 12. And I can re-roll. Oh. All right. So there you go. Well, and you only need to be within inches. one inch. So, But you're not done with your shooting. you got to shoot Tainted Warriors. Yeah, Tainted Warriors. 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 Tainted Oh, just out of range. <laughs> Can't shoot them anymore. Uh, all right, yeah, Tyranid Warriors are going to shoot. 15 shots with Death Spitters. Three ups. All right, and what are their toughness? Four. Four? Okay, three ups. Sweet. That is four, eight, nine wounds. Nine wounds? All any minus one, one damage. Minus one. Okay. These so guys might just explode. I need uh, fours. Oh, yeah, that's they're all six. Home. Yep, they're dead. Woo! All right, well, I, I'm going to call it, but you're welcome to see if your gene stealers can make it. Come on. Into close combat. Come on. Hey! Eleven! Okay. Well, well, we'll just say that you do it. Yeah, so I've been tabled. I have, you have been officially that was, tabled. That was, that was, that was just, that was savage. I don't even think I killed a unit of guys. No, you didn't. Did I kill anything? Nope, no, I didn't. Because there's two gene stealers left from that giant unit of Wow, life. okay. I just couldn't do it. Wow. Oh, good job, Griffin. That was a flawless victory. That was flawless. No casualties, and Other. you completely tabled me. Yeah. Nice. Wow. That, that's a first time. Good. Ever. Well, let's uh, let's do a redux then. All right. Here's the shake. Almost. Are Thank you, you very much. Good yes. game, Griffin. Yeah. I appreciated it. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, let's do redux. I, I've already started it. Oh. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, our, okay. So we've each played a game against each of the other people. Yeah. So it's me and Jonah and Griffin here. You gotta move in a little bit. Yeah. You look like you got like a tiny little head there. Is, is this better? There you go. No, no. Go, go ahead and just. There you go. Yeah, you're you're fine. All right. So I played Jonah and Griffin and so forth. Yeah. So talk to us about your, the game. Which which unit was your MVP? Oh, Gene Steel is a hundred percent. Right. And you were wise to run them in in a giant wad. Yeah. Now, you haven't been using nodes, so talk to us about nodes and why you would or wouldn't use them. They're basically like destructible um, deep strike. 
that you have to... So, with the new Deep Strike rules, you can only do it on the second turn. It's basically... Oh, is that true? Yeah. Oh, they'd have to come... Oh, then they're, they're not very useful. Yeah, they're awful. <laughs> okay, well, never mind then. Um... What else? So, so they're basically... So it's just worse Deep Strike. You have to wait two turns to use your Gene Sealers just to get a redeploy. Right, so that's Which not is helpful. awful. You could have just ran over there. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, and then, yeah, and then a big wad of Gene Sealers is really good because of the fury, Flurry of Claws, which gives each one of them four attacks. Okay, Instead what's of Flurry of Claws? Is it uh, an if, upgrade? If ten or more are in a unit, then oh, they get yeah. four attacks instead of three. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. All right. Have you thought of changing the armament on your Tyranid Warriors? No, because the long range is nice to like. Because then I don't really have to advance, or even if I do, I just have more reach. Mm -hmm. Then with a Devourer, which I think has four shots, mm -hmm. but doesn't get the minus one AP, and has four strength, and okay. only has 18 range. So. Okay. Yeah, the Death Spitters are pretty good yeah. for 24 inch range. Yeah. Now, for my part, I'm going to call the MVP as the Dire Avengers. They worked really good. They, they took out and a lot of Gene Steelers. I, I'm, I'm coming around on the Dire Avengers. I think they're, they're pretty cool. Yeah. And they've, they've tweaked them over the many, many years to actually be good. And so it's a, it's, a, it's a tough call. And, of course, we're in a different format. We're in a different setting where anything can be good because it's all random. And... So, plane units, like Defenders, can actually get a chance to sign, shine. But the Guardian Defenders, again, they just... They suffer from the thing where they only have a 12-inch range. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... Uh, oh, I made so many mistakes in this Oh, game. yeah. First off, I still, even after my first game with Jonah, where I forgot the Ulf way thing, where they get a six up, feel no pain. Okay. Now, if you're new to the game, feel no pain is an ability from previous editions where you would get an, like an additional layer of a saving uh, roll after everything else. And there are a lot of abilities in this edition that give you that that aren't called feel no pain, but as a shorthand, they call it feel no pain. So you would get wounded, you could take an armor save, but then you could take another save after that. And it's rare for that there to be something after the armor save. Also, Usually you just get one save. Also, feel no pain works for mortal wounds. <clears throat> oh, I didn't know that. That's really nice. Oh, I don't know why I'm... There's no reason I should be tired right now. <laughs> okay. Now, in our Escalation League called Random Reinforcements... And there will be a link in the liner notes for that, if you, in case you want to try it out, or play along with us. Uh, and by the way, I would love, send me your battle report so I can put it on my channel. That'd be great. I don't know why you'd want to do that, other than, than because fame you want to. and glory, and, it, you know, being awesome. So anyway, uh, yeah, so what are you going to add? I'm going to add a Carnifex, and for our, like, our single 50 points or less... Mm -hmm. I'm going to run Elector. Carnifex is a good choice because we allow combat squatting or like splitting them so you could actually take three Carnifexes and run them as separate units. <coughs> well, actually... And that would... You can just run them all as a one unit and then they split off by themselves. Hmm. Is that how they normally are? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, my mistake then. Didn't know it. Hmm. I am very probably adding support weapons. Yeah. Which are these jet. And they're traditionally, like in the meta now, they are not great. But they do have, they do have Guardians crewing them. They're a model that doesn't normally see play. Um, although I have had clients commission them. I had a client recently commission nine of them, all with pegged weapons to switch out. So there must be something to it. I gotta tell you, nine weapon platforms with D cannons on them 
that could scare anything in the game. That could potentially kill anything in the game. Yeah. Really. <clears throat> uh, the support weapons, you need a vibro cannon, which is um, sort of a mid-range, or excuse me, a mid-strength heavy weapon with the gimmick that each one that hits something makes the next one stronger because it sends like a shockwave through the earth so you can converge them. And, but it's nothing to write home about. Then they have what's called a shadow weaver, which is an artillery that shoots like this web of monofilament wire that just sort of cooks everything. But then that's an anti-infantry weapon. And, but my guy, my guardians and all my other stuff so with the shuriken and things, they fulfill that role just fine the way they are. So really, it's up to, it's, it's the D cannon why that's so good. And it's 24 inch range, so pretty short, but it doesn't need line of sight to fire. It just mm. opens up a warp rift. Strength 12, minus 4, D6 wounds. That's really good. Yeah, but if you think about it, a LAS cannon is kind of the same thing. Except And worse. you only need, well, a LAS cannon is strength 9, minus 4, D6 wounds. So the same profile, except minus strength 12. But the thing is, the difference between 9 and 12 is not that much. Uh -huh. Because 9 doubles infantry, but doesn't double the strength of like, like high, it's like things that are strength seven or, or toughness seven or toughness eight. Well, so the t the strength twelve isn't really helping that much. Well, may, may I correct so you? So it's on a something. tough call. On a lot of like stuff, for example, my hive tyrants are uh huh <laughs> um, are uh, toughness six. So you would get double wall lies cannons double. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. Also, uh, most commanders are like level are toughness five, so like blast cannons wouldn't get double wood. Your D cannons would. Yeah. I don't know. It's and they're well, they're sixty points for the D cannon one. Oh, it shoots two shots. That's why it's D three. Oh. It's D three shots. That's why it's good. Mm. There you go. And because that's six shots from the three of them. And that's, that's going to kill those big things. And be, basically be really scary. And be able to be out of sight and kind of float around. Oh, it's heavy things. teeth. Ooh. Yeah. So, mm. tough call. My other choice would be War Walkers. I love the models. And they get sort of the scout move. So they can sort of pounce in. And get that line breaker too. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably do War Walkers. Oh, yeah. I also got, tough call. I also got line breaker. Yeah, I know. I know you smoked me. <laughs> You, you'll, you'll, you'll get your next round. I'll get you, round. Griffin. I'll get you good. All right, well, we turn off the lights because it makes my white hair, like, glow. So You, just you so do you know look like that. God. Yeah, maybe. I'm getting there. So, anyway, uh, this, this, I guess this, that's all I got to say. It's, it's like if Jesus Christ was able to get it's past funny. his 30s. Wow. That's something. <laughs> all right, so anyway... I'm sorry. <laughs> we have nothing in common. Uh, all right. Uh, that's all I got to say. So thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. And uh, we will see you again because we're going to do a lot more of these and keep you posted on the progress. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. It's the next day. Yeah. It's the next day. And these two are duking it out. So this is round two. Oh, this is my baby girl. This is Audrey. Say hi. Say hi, hi. to the fans. Yeah. What? Oh, you want to see yourself? There you go. Hi. That's it. Watch it. Be away. Yeah. All right. Awesome. I love it. Couldn't be better. All right. So anyway, these two are duking it out. They're in their second round, so they've added... Uh, Griffin's added two Carnifexes, still working on so one hit of those, and a Lictor. Uh, we picked up the Lictor model today. Audrey, so you, Audrey, darling, go into Sorry. the kitchen, love. Sorry, uh, boys and girls. Yeah, I, I actually tune it out. I don't even hear it anymore. I, I hear it. Right. I, my anxiety won't let me not nice. turn it out. Yeah, you can't tune out. things out. All right, anyway, uh, so the zone throw is a stand-in for Lictor. The Lictor's going up against a librarian, and the Lictor only costs 30, 31 points. 31 points. That's cheap for what you get. Yeah. 
Lictor Orama, says I. All right. All right, anyway. So, is it an even fight? How, how are things I going? I don't know. Tough call, it's, right? It is kind of a tough call, other than my massive swarm of jeans. I mean, like, it's destroyed my, my interceptors, but just, just, uh, we'll see how the They intercepted a claw to the face. Yeah. Correct. So this is going on. This guy's going to blow these guys up, though. Totally. No way. He's totally coming back. All right, uh, so Maliceptor, right one hit, uh, needing to be right. Okay, so we're rolling up our next thing. Griffin rolled up Tyranid Shrikes for fast attack. Yep. So now your army has an HQ, two troops, and one each from heavy support, fast attack, and elites. Yep. So Actually, Jonah, yeah. Te technically two elites, because I have the Lictor and the... Uh... Right, as the solo. Yeah which is a new category that we're doing. Um, one model worth 60 points or less. Okay, so Jonah, what battlefield role do you not have? Heavy support. Heavy support. And how many choices do you have? Can you read them off? I have for Land Raider, Raider, Land Raider Crusader, Land Raider Redeemer, Fortimer Pattern Land Raider, Nemesis Dread Knight, and Purgation Squad. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Yeah. We're going to count Land... Uh, I'm the judge. Yeah. We're going to count Land Raiders as just one choice okay and then you get to pick which type you get okay. so you only have three choices yeah, so so d3 okay d4 reroll fours two two nemesis dread knight okay you roll nice. then that's what you wanted right yes that's exactly perfect what I wanted. all right now my turn let's go to eldar yes. Yes. and eldar pretty much have everything i could want eldar, in eldar. elites i have nothing bad in my eldar elites in their own subspecies Is it not there? Oh, there, there it is. There it is. There you go. This is exciting. Okay, so yeah, elites. Um, I, I'm not going to do four legendaries out. I don't think there's any Forge World choices, shadow right? Shadow Spectres. Those are Forge World. Uh, yeah, I'm going to include Shadow Spectres, but I'm not going to do Blackstone Fortress to get okay. the Ranger character, Amelyn Brightblade or whatever her name is. So how many do I have? Uh, five, I think. Five? Let's see. Four, Read them five. off. Okay. Fire Dragons, Striking Scorpions, Wraith Blades, Wraith Guard. We'll count those as one. Howling Banshees, Shadow Three, Specters. Four, five. Five five things. things. Okay. Give me a D6. Reroll sixes. That's six. Actually. Is it six? Yes. Well, we're counting Wraith units as one oh, option. Okay. So here we go. Here's my roll. Uh, five. Uh oh. Um, one, two, three, four. Shadow Specters. Okay. Well, that's not bad. I was hoping for Banshees or Scorps. You get a reroll. Oh, yeah, because of the thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, but what if you I don't know. But I, and I get to eliminate one, too. Yeah. Because we let Griffin do that. So do I want to eliminate one of those choices that I don't want? Like... Yeah, I'm just going to roll again and see what happens. Okay. Oh, I don't know, though. Shadow Spectres are so good. and I ha Yeah, I'm going to stick with Shadow Spectres. Cool. All right, that's, that's my thing. Okay, awesome. So right now we have about 1,100 to 1,200 points cool. in our armies. Cool. But we still got to finish this round. Cool. Okay, and I'm playing Jonah next at 1,000 points. Cool. Yeah. All right, awesome. 